Okay, working papers 14-1, the work together, page 417 in your textbook if you would like. And there's two steps up here in case you didn't notice that. So it says the aging of accounts receivable for this company is of December 31st and estimated percentages for uncollectible accounts by age group are presented in the table. Calculate the estimate of uncollectible accounts expense, the balance of allowance for uncollectible accounts before the adjusting entry is a credit of $236.89. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down here already, $236.89. If I get my trusty calculator out and I compute these things, I would get take 16,485.18 times 0 0.02, and I would get 329.70. Then I take 12,48905 times 0 0.04, and I would get 499.56. Do the same on the next line, the 31 to 60 bucket or group, 556.65. The next one, 843.64. The next one, 2209.97. And then I want to add all of these uncollectible amounts by age group all together. And if I did that, I would get 4439.52, 4439.52. So that's what I need to have in the allowance for uncollectible accounts as a credit. But I currently have a credit of 236. So I would take the difference between those two and know that I need another credit of that amount to get to 4439.52. So 4202.63 on that last line. If this were a debit balance here, make sure you realize that. So to get from a debit all the way back to a credit, I would add these. I wouldn't subtract them. Okay. Then I would go to the next step. And there they're showing you the same thing that we just did. And we know that we need an adjustment, so adjusting entries is already up there on December 31st. And we're going to debit the expense, uncollectible accounts expense. The document, we don't need one because it's an adjusting entry, and we would debit for 4202.63, that amount we just computed up here as the additional amount needed in the allowance account. And then I would credit the allowance, the contra asset, allowance for uncollectible, I can't spell today, sorry, collectible accounts, and that is a credit to make it equal. And that's all that's to it on this problem.